Usapang Guidance Session! Ano so, naman, bago yan na. Excited na ako sa pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Ano nga pala, ano pa sa rin yung webinar natin? Ayun na nga, Ma'am Joy. May tatanong na naman ako sa'yo. Ito ba mga nakaraan? Nakakaramdam ka ba ng nakaramdam mo? Feeling mo stress na stress ka? Oo naman, Ma'am. Lalo na nung pumasok yung 2020 kasi grabe na yung mga nangyayari ngayon. Ang dami na yung nangyayari sa panahon ngayon. Hindi na natin maiwasang ma-stress o mag-isip. Kaya ngayong araw, para mas maliwanagin, tawagin pa natin si Ma'am Jonna ang isa pa natin, Kagayda! Ano yung pinag-uusapan ng tungkol sa stress? Oo nga mga mami, masyado na nakaka-stress yung mga nangyayari ngayon, parang ng mga nakaraang buwan nga. Hindi mo may iwas na hindi mag-isip, matakot, o kaya kabahan, diba? Lalo na nung pumasok ng 2020, sobrang dami yan ng mga nangyayari. Oh, ah, okay, sige, walang problema yan. Dahil ngayong araw, meron tayo kinibutihang bisita para magbigay sa atin ng mas malalim na paliwanag at kalaman tungkol sa stress. Ano ang mga sanhi at dahilan ng stress at, at kung paano natin maka, paano tayo makakakul sa stress. Wow! Ang galing naman, ma'am! Baka sino ba naman yung magsasalita sa atin para ngayong araw? Sige, bago natin simula ang ating talakayan, may igay simula natin ito sa isang panalangin. Let us bow our heads and put ourselves in the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, you have showered us with so much blessings, and your presence continuously remind us of your faithfulness and guidance. We may humbly ask you to shower our speaker today your greatest inspiration so that she may share the most of her knowledge, heart, and soul to her respective topic. May we also absorb the invaluable knowledge and the experience and put it into practice. We may, we pray that you bless all the committees in charge that they may be able to fulfill their task responsibly, that the objectives they have set may be all achieved. Your infinite blessings would mean the success of this seminar. May we be a living witnesses of genuine love through the enactment of the knowledge acquired through this activity. We, act, we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ang ating tagapagsalita para sa ating webinar ay graduate ng Master of Clinical Psychology sa PUP, isang registered psychometrician at, re at registered psychologist. Siya ay kasalukuyang psychologist sa Sunrise Hill Therapeutic Community kung saan siya humahawak ng psychiatric patient nagsasagawa ng counseling at psychotherapy. Siya din ay isang consulting psychologist ng Child Farm Possibilities, Psychosocial Services at Guidance Counselor sa Lassages, Rehabilitation and Development Services. Wow! Ang dami ako palang credentials ng ating magiging speaker, ma'am. Pwede na po ba natin simulan? Okay, sure. Walang problema dyan. Pero bago natin simulan, siguraduhin muna natin na nakaalas tayo ng upo. Okay? Pangalawa, alisin muna natin sa ating mga paninigin mga bagay na maaaring makasagabang sa ating pagkinig. At syempre, pangatlo, huwag natin kalimutan sa puso ang sasabihin ng ating speaker may araw. Hello everyone! I am your teacher for today. You can call me Teacher Cha. For today's webinar, we are going to talk about a very interesting topic which is stress management. So, ano ba yung tinatawag nating stress, mga kids? Stress is the body's reaction to harmful situation. For example, kapag meron tayo nakasalubong na aso sa daan, tayo ay kinakabahan. Oh, makakagatin ako ng aso, kaya baka tahulan ako. Oh, so, tayo ay nag-worry. Minsan, nalalamig yung ating mga kamay. Minsan, nanginginig yung mga kamay natin. Oh, maybe because you are stressed. Kasi mayroong harmful situations. So, ano na ba yung mga bagay na nakakapagpa-stress sa atin? Magandang malaman to, no? One is family. For example, kapag nag-away si mommy and si daddy. You keep on thinking, uh, ano kayang mangyayari? O kaya ano kayang nangyari? O di kaya nag-away kayo ng kapatid mo? <clears throat> nag-aaway kayo sa isang laruan kasi hindi ka pinahiram ng laruan mo. Kaya nagalit ka. No? So, ginawa mo, umiyak ka. 
Hindi ka makatulog at night kasi gusto mo katabi mo yung teddy bear. Pwede rin naman sa school. No? When someone bully you. Bullies you. Okay? So kapag inaano ka, inaaway ka sa school, no? You feel sad. No? You tend to worry about the next day. Makikita ko kaya yung bully na bully na nang bubuli sa akin. Siya pa rin kaya yung makikita ko. Ano kayang gagawin ko? Then, possible din is yung mga homeworks natin. Paano ko kaya gagawin yung homeworks ko? Wala si mami at si daddy. Sino kaya ang tutulong sa akin? O kaya, nako may quiz. Kinakabahan ako, baka pagalitan ako ni teacher. Okay, so those are some of the stressors that we might experience or that you might experience before or even ngayon. So what does it feel like to be stressed? Ano ba ang feeling ng stress tayo? Okay, ano ba nararamdaman natin? We are worried and not able to relax. We keep on thinking. Marami tayong, ala, naku, baka pagalitan ako. Baka makita ni mami yung failed score ko. O kaya baka bumagsak ako sa exam, mapagalitan ako ni teacher. And then, you experience headaches and stomach aches. Masakit ang ulo nyo, or kaya masakit yung tiyan nyo. And say, sabi ni teacher, malapit na yung periodical exam. So, the usual na naramdaman mo, no? Your head is aching. No? Tsaka nagkakaroon ka ng sakit sa tiyan. Bakit kaya laging ganun na lang kapag mag-e-exam ako? Maybe because you are stressed. No? Yan yung reaction ng body mo towards the stress. Okay. And then you tend to be clingy. Yung ayaw mo na mawalay sa mommy mo or sa daddy mo or kung sino significant others na malapit sa iyo, ayaw mo silang mawala sa paningin mo. Because you are stressed, you are worried. Kasi feeling mo pagkasama mo sila, you are safe. Then, not able to control emotions. When we are stressed, sometimes we get angry. We cry a lot. No? Nito tantrums tayo. Hindi natin mapigilan yung sarili natin. Minsan napapasigaw tayo because we are stressed. And then, yung iba, minsan nagiging aggressive tayo or we have stubborn behavior because we cannot control our emotions. We become impulsive, no? You're acting without thinking. Okay, what else? You lose interest. Minsan kapag stress tayo, parang wala na tayong gana gawin yung mga bagay na before is we find interesting. Okay? And then we have eating difficulties. It's either you don't feel like eating. No? Hirap ka napakainin ni mommy at ni daddy. Maybe because ina uh, iniisip mo yung nabuli sa'yo sa school. Or di kaya iniisip mo yung napagalitan ka ng teacher mo which you find stressful. Alright? So, anong gagawin natin kapag tayo ay stress? Kasi kapag stress tayo, marami tayong nararamdaman na bad feelings eh. No? Tayo ay malungkot or tayo ay kinakabahan. So, anong gagawin natin? So, first is you have to exercise daily. Mag-exercise tayo. Why do we have to exercise? No? para ma-sharpens yung memory natin. No? And then, it also increases our self-esteem. Tapos, mas madali daw tayo nakakatulog kapag nag-exercise tayo. And nakakaroon tayo ng more energy. And it also makes our body happy every time na nag-exercise tayo. Kaya, this one is very beneficial sa ating lahat. Next is you have to play. Ito, favorite natin kasi masaya maglaro, especially kapag marami kayong playmates. No? So, play allows you to use your creativity while developing your imagination, dexterity, physical, cognitive, emotional strength. Okay? You become creative. 
no? Kasi nag-i-imagine ka eh. No? Minsan, naglulutulutuan kayo. Nagiging creative ka kasi yung mga dahon, ginagawa mong sangkop, sangkap doon sa niluluto mo kunwari. Okay? Next, make sleep a priority. Kailangan matutulog ka rin ng tamang oras. Hindi pwede yung late ka lagi natutulog. Maybe because you are watching some cartoons. Dapat natutulog ka ng 8 hours kasi kapag wala kang tulog, it slows down your thought process. And it also impairs your memory. Mas mahirap mo i-memorize yung multiplication table. O kaya yung mga lesson ni teacher si English and Filipino. Okay? And it makes learning difficult because you lack sleep. Nahirapan ka mag-concentrate kasi sleepy ka na eh. No? And it can also alter your mood significantly. You become irritable. Okay? So you have to sleep at least 8 hours. And of course, para ma-overcome mo yung stress na yon, you have to do something that can make you happy. When you feel stressed, or when you feel sad, do something that can make you happy. What are those? It can be reading books. No? Kung ikaw ay mahilig magbasa ng libro, read books. O kaya, drawing. No? Drawing ka. Nakaka-relax to. No? Saya kapag nagdo-drawing ka, no? yung mga nai-imagine mo, nalalagay mo sa paper. Or di kaya, you can play your guitars or listen to music, or you can cuddle your pet. No? Kasi minsan yung mga dog lovers, no? or kaya yung may mga pet lover dito, no? nakaka-relax sa kanila kapag nandyan yung pet nila kasi parang they feel comfortable because they have, um, they have something na kasama. No? Meron silang kasakasama. Okay, so do something that can make you happy. So isip na kayo, ano ba yung mga bagay na nakakapagpasaya sa inyo. Okay, next is you can practice breathing exercise. So paano ba itong breathing exercise na to O yung tinatawag natin na belly breathing? So kailangan, okay, hawak mo yung belly mo. Imagine na merong balloon dyan inside your belly as you breathe in. Dapat lalaki yung balloon. Okay? Kasi hawak mo yung belly mo, hawak mo yung chan mo. And as you breathe out, okay, liliit naman yung balloon sa loob ng chan mo. And you have to breathe out through your mouth. Okay? So, kapag nag-inhale tayo, kailangan lalaki yung balloon sa belly mo. And then kapag nag-breathe out, iimbis siya. Okay, so gawin natin, kids. Okay? So, I want you to sit properly. Okay? Relax your body. Okay? Feet on the floor. I want you to close your eyes. Okay? Hold your belly. Kamay sa ating mga tiyan. Okay? And then close your eyes. Okay? Inhale. Hold your breath, slowly exhale. Kailangan lumalaki yung volume sa tiyan natin, ha? Inhale. Hold your breath. In, exhale. Okay, one more. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, gawin ulit natin. Last one. Okay, hold your belly. And I want you to focus on your breathing. Close your eyes. Inhale. Hold your breath. Slowly exhale. The count of three. May open your eyes. One, two, three. All right. So, kamusta? Okay? Nakaka-relax, no? Kapag hawak mo yung belly mo, para talagang may balloons dun sa chan mo, eh. Okay, so you can practice that kasi it can help you to feel relaxed. Nakaka-relax siya. Okay? And then one thing that you can do is, is to have a gratitude journal or a thank you list. 
no? Let's say you have a diary. Tapos, isulat mo yung mga bagay na you are thankful for. Well, let's say, you are grateful for your friends and family na nga sulat dito. Food and water. Or even internet access. No? At least, it, it encourage a positive feelings. Kasi iniisip mo, ano ba yung mga bagay na meron ako na dapat kong i-appreciate? Okay, you can practice it every day. Maybe kapag gising mo sa umaga or before sleeping. And then, talk to your loved ones or ask for help. Kapag stress tayo, you can talk to your parents. O kaya sa trusted friends mo. Kaya kay Latito at Tita. No? Kausapin mo sila. Pwede mo i-open up sa kanila yung nararamdaman mo. Express yourself. Kaya kay teacher, kay guidance counselor, and then you may ask for help para at least matulungan ka nila. For example, sabihin mo kay teacher-teacher, nahirapan po ako makatulog gabi. Ano po kayang pwede kong gawin? Baka makatulong si teacher. O kaya baka kapag nagkwento ka, let's say nagkwento ka ng nangyari sa school, no? Let's say, nagkaroon ka ng kaaway. Baka makatulong si teacher sa'yo. Baka pwede niya kayong pagpatiin para at least stress-free ka na. Okay? Now, um, I want I want to end this presentation no? by these positive affirmations. So, ang gagawin lang natin is you have to read. Okay, let's read it together. Basahin natin ito na sabay-sabay. Okay ba yun? Okay. So, let's read. There is no one better to be than myself. I am enough. I get better every single day. I am an amazing person. All of my problems have solutions. Today, I am a leader. I forgive myself for my mistakes. My challenges help me grow. I choose my own attitude. And I'm choosing to have an amazing day. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much and have a nice day.
once again, our official Facebook page is SIC Guidance Center. And don't forget to visit and like the school's official FB page, Sally Defense College. You can also reach us to our guidance hotline numbers at 654 and 0966760468. 